We're going to turn now to that small earthquake that rattled parts of our area. It's epicenter right here in New York City. You heard Liz right. An earthquake. The U.S. Geological Survey says a 1.7 magnitude quake hit near Astoria, Queens, and officials believe that's what jolted residents awake in nearby Roosevelt Island and caused a series of small explosions. Some knocked out power to the area early this morning. I want to reporter Kimberly Richardson is live in a story with the very latest. Kim. Well, Liz, here in Astoria, mixed reaction. One woman tells me she most definitely felt her sofa shake. Others really think I'm joking when I tell them the epicenter of that 1.7 magnitude earthquake was right here. It was an unusual morning, not the kind of wake up call anyone's used to. Here along Ditmars Boulevard in the heart of Astoria, the reaction, what earthquake? Everyone but Victor, who by late morning put one and one together. I was sleeping, I moved my head and I feel like dizzy, but I, like you say, it was, it was a little earthquake, so. You thought it was vertigo? Mm-hmm, exactly. So it, it wasn't. <laughs> Officials say just before six this morning, a 1.7 magnitude earthquake, its epicenter here in Astoria, rattled parts of New York City. It was an awful bang, like a vibration, and you could tell it was coming from below the building. Here on nearby Roosevelt Island, where many say several loud booms woke them up, followed by a series of jolts. It brought him straight up to attention. Joyce's four month old puppy. I have a uh, system behind my bed where we have uh, credenzas and they actually uh, rattled, they vibrated. Uh, when we heard this boom, I thought we might be having a um, earthquake. Joyce was right. People living in number two and number four River Road seemed to feel the most movement and right away thought of the Con Ed plan. Possibly transformers from across the river. And so that's that's the immediate thought was that it could be something to do with transformers. First responders arrived on island and quickly tried pinpointing what the problem was as folks in at least four high rise buildings left their apartments. The elevators were out. So we're up on the eighth floor. We walked down and there was just so much commotion at the time. Nobody knew really what was going on. And now we know an earthquake. By the way, that elevator service was back up and running shortly after. Officials say despite all the rattling and shaking on Roosevelt Island, there are no signs of structural damage and no one was hurt.